Hello, this is Toad from Trifle Productions with another Blender Quickie for beginners. And in this uh, Quickie, I'm going to uh, do a tutorial based upon the request that I got from a subscriber. His name, let me pull this up. His name is Shima Faud, or Faud. Uh, hopefully I'm pronouncing that correctly. I don't think I am, but uh, I tried. Uh, but he says, thanks for this great video. Please, can you explain in the video how to make a bulb light in animation simply so we're going to do that today in, in the blender quickie uh, for beginners i've already got the scene set up we have a light bulb here this is blender 2.82 that we're doing this in we have a light bulb here uh, the pull string to activate the light bulb and a floor for demonstration purposes <coughs> now the first thing is we're going to use eve because eve is a lot faster and I've already set all the materials. Um, this is just the base, just basic geometric shapes. The cylinder. Uh, this is also a cylinder that has been um, shaped uh, to resemble the base. <coughs> excuse me, of a uh, light bulb. And this is the bulb itself. Now we're not going to. I didn't model the filament because when you do things like this in animation, you don't really need to see the filament because that's not the focal point of the light. It's the, the bulb itself. And I've set the uh, bulb itself to have an emission shader let's look through the shaders here let me click on the light bulb itself so the bulb light which is this part consists of let's pull this down so you can see it better an emission shader and the material output uh, to get these two this one already comes um, default when you open up a shader in general and to pull up shaders, you just go to add, and here's your shader list. And the emission shader is, let me see right there, and just click on that. And then to connect it, you just uh, hover your mouse. Let me turn on my screencast keys here so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, is that on? Let me make sure it's on. Sometimes the screencast keys work and sometimes they don't. Let me pull this up a little bit so you can see what we're doing. I know maybe it's not working today. Turn it back on. Well, I guess it's not working today. But I'll just dictate uh, the keys I'm pressing like I've done before. So uh, we're going to hold down the middle mouse button to kind of scroll around in the uh, shader viewport. And to get the shader viewport, after you've divided your window, you know, as I've said before, just hover your mouse over a corner in your user interface in Blender and just pull down, and that divides it. And then to join it back together, hover your mouse over the uh, div divider here, turns into a double arrow, right click, join areas, and then left click to join the areas. To get the uh, shader part, you just click on the icon in the left top corner and here's a display of all the uh, ports or all of the uh, panels that you can pull out and we're on the uh, let me see the shader editor here where are you shader uh, here it is shader editor right there and this is what this is so as I was saying prior this is the bulb light or this is why I named it the bulb lights which is this part the bottom part has an emission uh, shader to attach the interior output the bulb base is just a basic uh, diffuse shader which is just a white color for the material output and the screw itself which is this top part here is just a uh, principal shader with the print that the uh, specular turned all the way up roughness turned all the way down and your metallic turned up a little bit to give it that shine of metal and for me to get these screws here just get a uh, torus and just get four toruses and connect them all together onto the cylinder to make this a screw kind of design for your the base of your bulb but getting back to the animated light <coughs> excuse me what you have to do is in eve the bloom the bloom is what's going to actually give it that look of a light coming on and let's uh, go to our shader shaders here and let's click on bulb base or bulb light actually and let's turn this up now with the bloom turned off 
the bloom was going to be located in your render properties or not render properties is that render yeah render properties with the bloom turned off <coughs> in eve and you pump up if you pump it up to like say 50 increase the value to 50 in, in the parameters it will get lighter but it won't have that emission or that feel of light but when you've turned on bloom that's when you get this glow effect around your light which is what you're wanting in terms of animating a light now let's turn that back off now what we want to do is we want to set this to one okay when, with the bloom on you set it to one you get a little bit of emission don't set it to zero if you set it to zero this will be completely black and that's not what you want you want it to, to look like a light bulb before it's turned on so set this to one enter and then once you've done that you're going to animate this part and the way to do that is that you have to click I hover your mouse over uh, this parameter and press one on your keyboard and when you've done that it turns yellow which means that it's ready it's animated and you can see one is right here and the, the one um, slot or the beginning of your timeline you'll see a, a yellow um, diamond here and that shows that this is the beginning of your animation let's scroll down a little bit and to you can either click left click to go further down your timeline or you can uh, actually move this move this the scroll wheel actually your, your mouse in this parameter bar to actually go up and down your timeline but the fastest way you can do it is just click here or you can just type <coughs> here 20 click in your your mouse uh, click in there and just type in 20 enter I'm, I'm kind of rushing because I I've had the software crash on me like a good number of times today so I'm trying to get through this tutorial without having to crash on me again uh, but once you've set this to 20 which is where you probably would want to start you press one again or I excuse me press I again in this uh, bar here to set that because you want the light to still the bulb would still be in, in a position of not being actually turned on until you you want it to actually come on so what you're going to do next <coughs> excuse me is you want it to come on and I think the amount of time for a light to come on I think it's maybe like less than a second so we're going to go down to 30 on our timeline so we're going to click in here have our mouse over here left click and press 30 type in 30 enter and when we type in 30 we're going to hover our mouse over this parameter this um, node left click and type in 50 enter and now this is on and then I to animate it now let's play that all the way through let's let's go back to the beginning and let's play it first play and that comes on but it comes on kind of gradually we want it to come on a little bit faster than that and the cool thing about 2.82 and 2.8 is that these uh, diamonds here, or these, uh, I guess you can call them, what would I call them? Uh, positions of animation, uh, that's what I'm going to call them right now. You can move them without having to actually affect or move any of the other diamonds uh, in your timeline, which is cool. Because in 2.79 and below, these would just be little slits, and you can do anything with them until you go into the other aspect of blender which would be the let me see that would have been the dope sheet or the graph editor sometimes but with this you can just move the diamonds yourself within the timeline which is a real help so let's move this down a little bit hover your, your mouse over here when it turns into you don't have, doesn't have to turn into anything but when you hover it over the left click and just drag it back and let's play that again yeah that's a little bit still too slow so let's move it back a little bit more this is just trial and error just eyeing it to see which to see how realistic we want our light to come on and play again and it comes on yes let's to increase the the uh, or to zoom in on your timeline hover your mouse your mouse over here and then uh, scroll up with your mouse wheel that makes your timeline that helps you to zoom in so you can see your timeline a lot closer in and let's pull this back a little bit more because we want the light to come on like a realistic light like just pop on pretty much let's go back and let's play again 
that's better that's more realistic and the cool thing about this also about these diamonds being here is that when you left click and we're gonna left click on this and then press shift D and then just move your mouse over because now you've duplicated those uh, that animation and now you can move it instead of trying to do it again manually you just hover your mouse over this left click left click shift D and then drag it over you've duplicated it without having to go through the process of trying to do it again manually so let's see how that looks let's press play okay that came on stayed on for a second then went off we wanted to stay on a little bit longer first and then go off you know, like uh, assuming that someone walks into a room and they see that it's dark they want to turn the light on leave it on for a little bit then turn it off that's what we were trying to simulate let's press G on our keyboard and drag this down again with those two uh, points highlighted let's go back and then press play again all right, so that's that's good. We want we don't want the light to dim out. We want it to stay on for that this duration. So once again, hover your mouse over that uh, animation point and left click, and then press Shift D and just drag this over. Okay, and let's go back again to the beginning and let's press play. And that's it. That's what we're wanting. Now you'll see that. Once you've done that, the thing with the bloom in uh, Eve is that once you do have um, an emission uh, shader or emission or a, an element or a mesh that emits a quote unquote light in the scene, it doesn't really interact with the rest of your scene at all. Because if you look, I have a floor here. Let's get a better view of this. I have a floor here. Let's play the animation again. Let's go back here. You can see that there's no lights coming on the floor at all and you have to pretty much simulate that yourself by applying a light or adding a light into your scene and to add a light you just go shift A and then from the pop-up menu go to light and a an area light works best or a spotlight so once you've chosen that you, you left click to choose that and then we're going to choose to click on our lights <coughs> and what we want to do is have our lights mimic the same kind of on and off um, on and off action as the light bulb does as the physical mesh light does I'm gonna try it I'm gonna see if this works I'm gonna click on that light bulb and hover my mouse over the timeline and press A twice A to deselect everything and A to select everything then press Control C to copy I don't know if this is gonna work but I'm gonna try it anyway click on our light and control V to paste and it doesn't do it but that's fine so what we want we're gonna have to do this manually also so we see that the lights itself is it's uh, at the first uh, beginning of our animation it's pretty much minimized in terms of it being off so let's left click on our light itself and then to set the or animate the light here we're gonna go to the uh, parameters on our right the right side of our user interface which is this light bulb here left click on that and we can see that the power of the light is at zero and what we're going to do is the same thing we did with the lights bulb the mesh lights press I and it animates it let's go back up to the light bulb and see where the next uh, animation is supposed to be and it's at 20 let's click on that and it's still at 1 so we have to click back on the light itself again and then hover our mouse over the power and press I again to animate that particular parameter go back up to the light bulb and uh, the, uh, the next uh, uh, spot is on 21 I think it is that's when the light is on so we're going to click on that also and we want let's, let's put the uh, power of the light probably let's say 50 let's see how good 50 is let me see 50 enter that's pretty good and press I also there let's go back up to our light bulb and the next spot the next uh, area is uh, at 34 or 4 in the timeline let's lift click on our lights 
and then we're going to hover our mouse over this parameter press I let's go back to our light bulb again hover it over 35 and this is the same process so on 35 for the uh, the light itself the light emitter hover our mouse over that press I and I think at this point it goes back to it goes back to uh, zero so let's type in zero first and then press I go back up to our light bulb and at the end here this we don't have to do the last part but I just do it just for the sake of consistency and hover over our light left click on that and then press I enter or you don't have to end, press enter just press I and then when we go back to the beginning of our animation let's see what happens let's press play yeah and that's it that's the whole thing and if you want to actually have you know maybe someone turn on the switch you don't really have to do this but if you think you need to do this for your animation this would be our switch represent our switch which would be the uh, uh, the pull string on the light as opposed to a switch on the wall this is the same way it's the same concept the same principles that you would apply to this too once the light is in this off position let's click on our uh, our string pull string for the light bulb let's click on that this is just an extra step and for this we're going to use uh, our record button this records animation automatically from the scene so we're going to activate that to click in there with your left left mouse button click to activate it when it's blue it, it means it's on and we're going to uh, scroll up or scroll down our mouse wheel to zoom out hold down shift hold down shift and then left or uh, hold your middle mouse button pull that down and we're going to click once on that or click it and move it just a little bit and it automatically records now sometimes you can't see it uh, in the timeline for some reason but once this turns yellow that means it's recorded it's been ha it has been recorded let's click on our uh, bulb again let's go to 20 and this is where we want to activate that the light so at 20 we're going to hover over our uh, string here left click on that and pull that down and it this time it actually showed up on our uh, timeline I don't know why it didn't show up here but it showed up here and that's that's just how it works sometimes but just don't let that confuse you and then let's left, left click on our light bulb again click on this area where the next animation spot is that's 21 click on our, our uh, light switch and then pull that up and that simulates it being the pull string being pulled down light comes on and then it's you know p turns the light turns the light on basically so let's let's play that back and see how that looks play oh, wait a minute I don't think it's recorded at, at the beginning let's pull this up let's go back to our first section here the first beginning of our animation let's pull this up okay there it is I don't know why I didn't sometimes that does happen with blender you try to you think you've activated a certain aspect of it and it doesn't work but don't let that don't let that discourage you just keep going and just keep troubleshooting it but pull this down at the beginning or pull it up actually at the beginning that way it simulates the string being pulled so let's play that back again okay and that's it and that's how you simulate an animated lights in blender and um, hopefully this helps you and if you need any more pointers on it to uh, I forgot um, the subscriber's name. Let me see if I can pull it up. I have to, I'm, I'm going to try to remember what his name is. It's this long, but Shima Faud. Hopefully, it helps you, uh, Shima, and whoever else is watching the tutorial. Hopefully, this helps you also in terms of how to animate a light bulb in Blender. Uh, hopefully, it wasn't too cumbersome and too tedious, but sometimes things like this, it takes some time. This is just the basic way to do it. Now you can do it with drivers and things like that, but that's a lot more advanced. So I'm just going along the basic, uh, you know, step-by-step -step principles of trying to animate a light in Blender, the simple and easy way. So hopefully that helps you, sir. And uh, thanks, you, thank you for watching, Shima. Thanks to everyone who's watched and who's still watching. 
really appreciate you guys and thank you guys so much for your support thank you guys for your subscriptions and the guys who and those of you who will subscribe in the future really appreciate you guys and and uh thank you guys so much and i'll see you guys on the next one all right adios